Welcome to part two of the lesson on graphing equations by plotting points. Example two, we're asked to use the equation y equals the opposite of the square of x plus five to complete the table below and then graph the results. So notice how we're given the input values or x values. We need to find the output values or y values, write the ordered pairs, plot the points, and then sketch the graph. Before we do this though, I want to go back to our equation and focus on this term here, the opposite of the square of x. It's important to recognize that the opposite of the square of x is different from the square of negative x written like this. This is the opposite of the square of x, which is what we have, which means the opposite are negative and then x times x. So here the base is actually x versus in this term, the base is negative x. This is the square of negative x, meaning we have two factors of negative x. It is important to recognize the difference between these two terms. And in our case, we have the opposite of the square of x. So because our first input is negative three, we would have y, the output, is equal to the opposite or negative of the square of negative three plus five. So now simplifying, negative three raised to the second power means we have two factors of negative three, which is positive nine, but then we have a negative sign here, so it's going to be negative nine plus five, so we have y equals negative four. So the first ordered pair is negative three comma negative four. The next input or x value is negative two, so we have y equals the opposite of the square of negative two plus five, so we have y equals negative two squared is positive four, but then we have a negative sign here, so it's negative four plus five, so we have y equals positive one. So the second order pair is negative two comma one. The next input is negative one, so we have y equals the opposite of the square of negative one plus five. So we have y equals negative one squared is positive one, but then because of the negative sign we have negative one plus five, so we have y equals positive four. The next ordered pair is negative one comma four. The next input or x value is zero, so we have y equals the opposite of the square of zero plus five, so we just have y equals five. So the ordered pair is zero comma five. The next input is one, so we have y equals the opposite of the square of one plus five. Simplifying, we have negative one plus five, so y is equal to four. So we have the ordered pair one comma four. The next input is x equals two, so we have y equals the opposite of the square of two plus five, so we have y equals negative four plus five, so y equals positive one, so the ordered pair is two comma one. The last input is the x value of three, so we have y equals the opposite of the square of three plus five, so y equals negative nine plus five, so we have y equals negative four, so the last ordered pair is three comma negative four. Now before we plot the points, we need to sketch the horizontal and vertical axes. So here's the horizontal axis for the inputs, and here's the vertical axis for the outputs. Now we need to scale the axes, and notice how the inputs or x values go from negative three to positive three, and the outputs or y values go from negative four to positive five. And therefore we can go ahead and scale both axes by ones. So we'll have one, two, three, and so on in the positive direction for the inputs. In the negative direction or to the left, we'd have negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on. And for the outputs along the vertical axis, moving up from the origin, we'd have one, two, three, and so on. In the negative direction or below the origin, we'd have negative one, negative two, and so on. Now we'll go ahead and plot the points given by the ordered pairs. So the first ordered pair is negative three comma negative four. So because the input is negative three, we first go to negative three on the horizontal axis. So here's the input of negative three. Because the output is negative four, from here we'll go down four units to here where the output is negative four. So this point has an input of negative three and an output of negative four. The next ordered pair is negative two comma one. So from here we'd go to negative two on the horizontal axis 
because the output is positive one, we go up one unit to here where the output is positive one. So we have an input of negative two and an output of positive one. The next order pair is negative one comma four. So here's the input of negative one because the output is four, we go up four units to here where the output is positive four. The next order pair is zero comma five. So here's where the input is zero at the origin and because the output is positive five, we go up five units to here where the output is five. Whenever the input is zero, the point will always be on the vertical axis. The next order pair is one comma four. So here's the input of one and the output of positive four would be here. So this point has an input of one and output of four. The next order pair is two comma one. So we have an input of two and an output of one. The last order pair is three comma negative four. We have an input of three and an output of negative four. So the ordered pairs of these points are points that satisfy this equation, but if we sketch the graph passing through these points, it would look like this. And any point on this graph would satisfy the given equation. Now let's go ahead and take this on the graphing calculator. To do this, we'll first enter the equation. To do this, we first enter the equation in the graphing calculator by pressing y equals, clear out any old equations, and we're going to enter negative and then x squared plus five. And now we'll press second graph to go to the table to check our table of values. If we scroll up to x equals negative three, Notice how we can check that the y value or output is negative four. When the input is negative two, the output is positive one. When the input is negative one, the output is four. And we can scroll down and check the remaining ordered pairs, which are correct. And now we can also check our graph. Before we do this though, we'll press window to verify the axes are scaled in the same way. So notice how we have the x min and x max are from negative seven to seven as well as the y min and y max. So let's go ahead and press graph. And this does verify our graph is correct. I hope you found this helpful.